Hey guys, this is Style Proud coming at you from YouTube with my third recording. I really need to get a better camera. I have one, but um, this Mac is just not doing it for me. I just recorded a whole 10 minute, a whole 10 minute video and no sound. That made me really sad because it was an awesome video. So I will try to recreate that. So let's just um, I'm a little bit more organized though because yeah, everything was kind of jambles earlier. So um, I just did a really quick haul lush. Um, Lush haul, haul lush, lush haul, haul lush. Whatever. I did a really quick spending money at this place. That's what it's called. Um, <laughs> so I just wanted to quickly talk about it. Um, obviously, I'm not really going to review. Just want to talk about what I bought um, and some familiar items that I continue to obviously talk about. Um, yep, so let's get started. So I know that I've been talking about this forever and ever and ever, which is the Ocean Salt. Um, that has the vodka and the sea salt in it and all that other wonderful, wonderful, wonderful stuff that smells like you're just putting margarita all over your face. Um, so I wasn't going to buy it. I had had the sample, as you guys saw. Um, it was great. It was wonderful. It worked. I just thought it was a little too abrasive for my face. Um, but I broke down and kind of bought it because I found myself living off my little sample and was sad when I ran out. So <laughs> it was something that I definitely had to pick up. Um, I did pick up the smaller size. This one's um, 4.2 ounces. Don't quote me on that. Um, yeah, probably about there. And this meets us for about $19.95. Whereas the other one, it's a little bit bigger. Maybe like this much bigger. It comes with about 8.2 ounces. And retails for about $34. Um, I don't use scrub that often. Uh, okay, I do. But I don't use it every day as you should not use scrub every day. Um, but I'm pretty... You know, I, I laid the, the makeup a little thick. Not heavy, not cakey. But um, I use enough makeup, let's just say, every day to, you know, use this at least, you know, every two days, two to three days. So that is um, really nice. It's something that I kind of broke down and decided to buy. Um, what else? I also picked this up, which is a dusting powder. It's called um, Silky Underwear. I don't normally do the whole dusting powder thing, but um, I found that it smells just like my... Um, Alkmaar soap that I just reviewed and as you know I love 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 the scent of that soap so I was really excited when I found um, something like this and this is not just your regular talc powder thing apparently this has um, some cocoa butter blended into it you know so once you rub it in it's actually a little moisturizing you still um obviously you still feel the um, you know the softness um, of the powder but you do have the body butter the body butter the cocoa butter in there for it to be moisturizing so let's see I'm since it's getting really warm it's been really humid here in New York I'm looking to just kind of put this on my arms my chest my back and you know in between the thighs when the ride the they kind of rub together and uh yeah it happens so whatever um let's see what else did I pick up my I thought it was a, okay I thought it was a little bit more organized but um so I picked up a little um, foot scrub thing here it's kind of falling apart it was raining it was pouring today so it makes me sad but um I can still use it it's in the shape of a little foot I wish you can see it because I want you to see it can you see I think oh you can see the foot look at the big toe the little toes and all that but it is kind of crumbling apart so I don't want to touch it too much um, so I have not used any kind of um, scrub like that before. This is, um, you kind of break it apart and put it in the water. Um, I asked them how much of that do I need to use. They really said not much. Um, so I can probably get around four to five uses out of that little bar, which is about this big. So that's awesome. That retails only for about um, $3.95 and you get about 2.3 ounces of product. So it's not bad, but let's see if it works. Um, it's supposedly... Um, it breaks down. It smells so great. It smells. So, you know what? Let me just read about it here. I have it right here. So it's called the Stepping Stone. It's a sea salt scrub for fresh feet. Can you tell that I love sea salt scrub? I mean, anyway. Um, so let's see. Everyone needs a stepping stone foot scrub after a tough day with your foot to the pedal. Step to it with our citrus, with our scrubby citrus delight with pumice and sea salt, and you'll be foot loose and fancy free in no time. Simply wet your feet and scrub away dry, rough skin. Um, so yeah, this stuff smells really, really good. I'm excited to try it. I'm probably going to try it. Maybe not today, maybe tomorrow, the day after. And I will let you know results and I will show you pictures or video if I feel like showing you my feetsies because they're not done yet. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to try that. Um, it smells, again, it smells so good. It smells so good, so good, so good, so good. So I just want to see if it actually moisturizes or does, you know, does anything aside from just scrubbing my feet if it leaves at least, you know, some kind of, uh 
a little bit of an oily texture or something. I know it does have the lemon oils in there, so let's see um, how that works out. And I got two samples. Um, I know we spoke about the um, sea vegetable soap. Where is it? That's right here. So I got a little sample because, as you know, I prefer my soaps to be on the creamy side, like the um, Alkmaar soap and the um, infamous uh, Sultana of soap that was a massive fail for me, which is great, but stunk to me. So I picked this up. It smells really, 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 really good, as you can see, kind of what that fades into. I wish you could see the translucent. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see that. It smells really nice. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to using it like for a nice summer scent. It's supposed to be really fresh. Um, the sea salt and that sea... Oh, let me show it to you before I actually put it away. So as you can see, it gets a little bit darker here. Oh, I'm making a mess. It gets a little bit darker up here. Right here like that. And then right here down below. So up that, all that crunchiness right on top. That's supposed to be the sea salt right on there. And then as you go down further, you see the seaweed and... I think it's like falling all over the place. Um, so that's supposed to be the seaweed. It's supposed to give you um, this exfoliating uh, sort of treatment type thing. But um, I've read that a lot of people just kind of cut it off because they find it a little too abrasive. Not even in the purpose of the scrub. It's just kind of like, ow. Um, so we're going to try that out and see. I will review it. I will let you know. Keep that short. And I picked up a sample of the Trichomania dry shampoo. 